This is the second video on the book Wonders of Grace, detailing 138 testimonies of thousands given during the ministry of C.H. Spurgeon. In this video, we will give three of those testimonies. The first is Ellen May, and I quote, attended a Church of England Sunday school until three years ago when she went to the situation as a domestic servant which she at present holds. Here she remained in nature's darkness until nine months afterwards when our sister Elizabeth Farrow entered the same household, thus becoming her fellow servant. It appears that our sister was not long there without trying to do something for the glory of Christ and the good of souls, for she was made the instrument in awakening this young girl to a sense of her lost estate and this too by relating the way in which she herself was brought to know the Lord. The good work was carried on through the instrumentality of Mr. Spurgeon's printed sermons, which our sister read to her. The result was great distress of mind, which continued for three weeks, seeing no hope for herself. Her first view of Christ was in reading Matthew 11, when she came to the verse, Come unto me, all ye that labor. She felt that was spoken to her. Then was she enabled to look to Jesus and found peace in believing. The second testimony is Frances Spriggs. Had a pious mother who now lives in Devonshire. As soon as out of parental control by coming to London, took up with wicked and ungodly companions, became fond of the theater and ballroom and became a ringleader in vice. He and two of his companions resolved one Sabbath day to go to hear Mr. S. when a sermon from the words, Whosoever will, let him come and take of the water of life freely, was used by the Spirit of God and applied to his heart. After the service was over, he left his ungodly companions, went home and fell upon his knees in prayer being sorrowfully impressed on account of sin, and prayed the Lord would forgive him. He then opened the Bible and there found the passage, Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. All this time he came without a mediator, and wondered his prayer was not heard, for he was sure he was the person described, until at length light dawned in upon his soul. He then pleaded the blood of Christ, and while upon his knees this time he believes the Lord heard and answered him for ever since then, he has become a changed man. The things he once hated, he now loves, and those he once loved, he now hates. He feels very anxious for his soul's salvation. His only hope is in a crucified Savior is also anxious for his fellow workmen and speaks to them as often as he can, although subjected to great ridicule and contempt. His wife is coming forward next week. Elizabeth Cox This young friend has heard our pastor with her sister about six months. Before that time she was fond of worldly amusements but was impressed with a sense of sin under the ministry felt her lost condition, and compelled to seek the Lord by prayer. She needs much instruction, and is evidently trusting partly to her repentance and partly to Christ. We re recommended her prayerfully to read suitable passages of Scripture and to come again in a month's time. She seems very anxious, and we believe a work of grace has begun. Subsequent Entry I have seen this young person several times since. She attended Mrs. Moore's class at my recommendation and appears to have been much benefited by the instruction she received there. This evening again she conversed with her and being satisfied that she looks upon herself as a poor sinner and nothing at all and upon Jesus Christ as her all in all, I gave her a ticket to see Mr. Spurgeon. Note. She is excessively nervous and needs gentle inquiry. May God use these testimonies to either stir you to more service and 
greater service for your Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ? Or perhaps you too need to find the same Savior upon which these testimonies were made. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life.